too. Customers cannot tell you what they want. Customers will tell you they want better, faster, cheaper Apple II. Better, faster, cheaper status quo. Better, faster, cheaper of what you already make. Nobody asked Apple for 128K Macintosh with no software thanks to my efforts. 400K floppy, 128K of RAM. Nobody asked that. They wanted better, faster, cheaper Apple II. Customers usually cannot tell you what they want. You have to have your vision, your passion. You need to jump ahead of them. The way to jump ahead of them is to get to the next curve, the next thing that I learned from Steve Jobs. The action, the true action, the great innovation in the world doesn't occur on the curve you are on. It occurs on the next curve. Classic example, ICE 1.0. Bubba and Junior would go to a frozen lake or a frozen pond and cut blocks of ice in the 1900s. Seven million pounds of ice was harvested in 1900. The technology at that point was horse, saw, sleigh. Frozen lake, frozen pond, cold time of the year. Go out to the lake, cut the ice. Ice 1.0. 30 years later, ice 2.0. Ice factory. Now you froze water centrally. Big technological change. Now, it didn't have to be winter. You didn't have to be in a cold city. You could have an ice factory in San Diego. You could have an ice factory in Hawaii. You could have an ice factory in Mumbai. It could be any place. Big change. Ice 3.0, refrigerator curve. Now, the ice man didn't have to deliver ice to your house. You didn't have to go to the ice factory to get your ice. You had your own personal ice factory in your house called a refrigerator, a PC, if you will, a personal chiller. The very interesting fact is that none of the ice harvesters became ice factories, and none of the ice factories became refrigerator companies. And why is that? It's because most organizations define themselves in terms of what they already do. We cut blocks of ice in the winter. We freeze water centrally. We make a device called a refrigerator. You need to step back from what you currently do and look at the benefits you provide your customers, your clients. The ice business is fundamentally in the business of convenience and cleanliness. And it can be done by harvesting ice, but it can be done by freezing ice centrally, and it can be done with your personal ice factory. Concentrate on the benefits, not the processes, of your organization.